Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, my name is Zach Ellis, or as the new name says, it's uh, Zachy Pocho, which um, <laughs> Zachy, um, Zachy because of Zach Ellis, and then Pocho because that's what I am, you know. I am half white, half Mexican, and uh, it's kind of a, an origin of my, um, of who I am, you know, and I think that, um, again, that name resonates with me, and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm calling my channel. So, um, the direction of this channel is going to be very interesting. I, um, <laughs> I've tried with a lot of different things. That's kind of how my, uh, my sober mind goes. I have a lot to express and talk about, but, um, you know, that's what these different... <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what these different tabs are going to be for. If uh, whether you want to learn about health, you want to learn about uh, uh, mental clarity, you want to learn about uh, uh, running, uh, my acting or, or acting journey, and just a lot of different things that I, you know, just talking about myself and uh, just my story and things. But um, anyway, I. I just want to talk about a little bit of, again, myself, who I am, what the purpose of this channel, and um, yeah, so anyway, I, and, uh, <laughs> I'm 31 years old, and I'm born and raised in Long Beach, uh, California, so, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, um, just a guy, the end, just kidding, um, no, I'm just, uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm a guy with just, uh, I don't know, going, just going through it, just, just life, you know, and uh, anyway, I, um, you know, we're coming towards the end of the year and start of this channel, and I want to just, you know, I have, a, again, a deep purpose for this channel, and um, and for myself as well, and, um, and I know that, um, you know, I do believe in God, I have a born and raised as a Christian, and uh, if that offends you, then um, goodbye. Um, so, you know, it's not going to change that. But, uh, you know, again, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, again, I um, talking about myself and, and how, again, my name, Zach, Zach E, of course, but then Pocho, that, uh, that word, that why it kind of resonates with me. In, you know, growing up, I went through a pretty rough time of um, you know getting teased and bullied like you know kids do and um, I uh, you know when I went into high school uh, that's when it really hit very hard for me of being a you know a halfer and um, predominantly Mexican Latino school and um, you know I want to uh, of course as a, a boy and any kid you want to fit in you want to fit in with everyone and um, you know, but, um, and I'm, I'm very much a people person, of course, I, but I, um, I'm also introverted, a deep thinker, and I, I be philosophical at times looking at life, um, which is where acting went in, because I pretend like I like doing this, um, but, you know, I, no, anyway, back to, um, <laughs> you know, the, the way that I was treated, and, um, learned, uh, you know, boys uh kids are, are are mean you know and they have a you know and i me being the race that i was i i wanted to show kindness still i still wanted to you know i you know it just really um yeah i just wanted to make friends you know and uh unfortunately it's just and that that wasn't in the cards for me, at least for the majority. There were the, there were a few that I did connect with on the soccer team, and that's that's where it started was with soccer and playing sports there. And um, yeah, the soccer players there were um, where I went to in, in Long Beach. Uh, yeah, no, it, it it stung me. I'll just say that, and even scarred in some ways. But anyway, my uh, junior year, going into senior year, I had a lot of aggression, of course, a lot of uh, pain and um, 
frustration, of course, but uh, that's where I found running. And running, I was, you know, I thrived on it. And uh, not only did I have a lot of, uh, you know, as Goggins would say, a Rolodex of things in my head, but uh, I went through my first breakup too. I went through a, a very rough breakup. And, um, you know, I, that, that spring, training for that marathon, uh, 2010, geez, uh, 2010 San Francisco Marathon. I, uh, uh, it was one of the happiest days, uh, July 25th, 20, uh, 20, 2010. That was 15 days after my 18th birthday that I did this marathon and you could look it up on there and, uh, yeah, I got seventh place overall, uh, 6,000 runners. And it taught me a lot that, you know, the kind of resilience that I have inside of me, the kind of um, training, determination, um, my work ethic. And um, yeah, I just, I, I believe in myself. And that's why I'm taking a chance with this channel as well, because it's just my story, you know, it is at the end of the day, it's just sharing things and trials and tribulations that I've had to, in, you know, encounter and happens. And sure everyone else has things that they've had gone through and you know but uh again i just want to give a, a perspective of how there there is a way to succeed and there's a way to um through pain and discomfort i mean uh, yeah there is a brighter uh, a brighter future and um as cliche as it sounds you you know it's like you know right now in life it's either <clears throat> And kind of give up and just don't try or you keep going and you find ways and, and to alternatives to make it because uh, you know I'm this last year especially has taught me that um, finances are freaking tough you know and uh, I'm living out here in the South Bay and um, more in the hood area and uh, border but um you know, it's, it's, it's expensive, you know, it's expensive living in California. I mean, if you know, my followers and uh, subscribers know that uh, that's just the way it is here. But um, that being said, it's like, I'm, I got to make changes. I got to make things and opportunities happen. And, um, you know, and that's where, you know, I, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll share how I got into acting and, uh, and again, these stories are very kind of go deep into it and I'll have to dive more into these as well. But um, anyway, I got into acting because, uh, well, um, it was in uh, October, in October, she's, uh, where is my head? Um, it was in August actually of uh, 20, uh, 2015 yeah August 14th 2015 that's when my my life you know changed forever um, I got a second DUI crash hit and run and uh, yeah I ended up in the hospital um, handcuffed to the handcuffed to the uh, gurney or not gurney or yeah the stretcher in, in the hospital torn and Torrance Medical, and uh, which is where I live now, so it's really coming full circle for me. But um, I was 23 years old, and uh, yeah, I went to you know I got locked up. I went to, I went to jail for um, about four months, and um, you know it, it was I needed it. You know I needed to awaken that, you know, my life is, uh, fragile and that I was thinking that, you know, I can, I, I'm invincible. I'm Superman. I can do, you know, and, uh, act the way that I can. And it almost cost my life. And, um, yeah, it was really scary to think that. And, but, you know, I, I earned it. I deserved going to jail and, spending the time I did in LA County and uh, again overcoming more fears of you know being around hardened criminals and gang members and all sorts of 
crazy people. I, I, I went through it. I went through the, the psych, the, you know, the yellow shirts, the GP with the blues, and, um, and then the working dorm where we, we wear these greens. <laughs> so, and the working class and uh, science shop, 524. Shout out to them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, you know, I, um, after that, you know, I, I then um, went into rehab, you know, because for drinking, I, you know, wasn't sure if I, you know, is this really me? Am I really, you know, an alcoholic? Do I have a problem? And I do. I do. I, you know, and again, it derives from circumstances in my life, like I said, of uh, getting teased, bullied. I, I drank the way that I did because I wanted a new image. I wanted to be something different, and I'm not, you know, or um, I know I'm unique in uh, certain ways, and, uh, but, um, you know, that's just, that's just who I am, and, uh, but anyway, I, uh, you know, go into rehab, go into uh, learning more about myself and my addictions, and, um, and again, it teaches me that, you know, I, again, there's a solution to all this, and, um, through the program, through the, you know, uh, the community, of course, and prayer and meditation, finding of my higher power as God, as I understood him, that, um, it will be okay. It'll be all right. And, uh, just like right now, you know, I'm going through it and, you know, sorry, 2024 and in debt, you know, sorry, you know. Eh, just you know, just contributing to the one trillion that we got now, um, in credit cards. But anyway, um, you know, it's all good. Um, but you know, I, again, that's where I led into acting. Shortly after, is that um, in my head, I you know, I was like, I, well, I have this on my record now. I I, I have this, and um, what kind of career can I go in? What can I do? I mean, I. You know, I, I have a felony and uh, they're not going to, how am I going to, you know, I'm pretty limited to what I can do with a felony. I mean, it's not a crazy, you know, uh, you know uh, crime, but it is nonetheless a, you know, a, a felony. So, you know, that's where I, I thought of the film industry and, <laughs> well, you know, there's <laughs> crazier people that have done more heinous things, maybe, uh, eh, you know, maybe I'll have a shot, but, um, that was my, in my head, but I also enjoyed the, uh, you know, the, the, the craft, of course, and the, the way films are made, and the stories, and the, you know, I have a deep reson, you know, resonation for it, and why, you know, why I wanted to go into it, and, you know, so I did, and, um, over at Marymount, MCU, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, I, uh, <laughs> Marymount, California University, and uh, RPV, and I uh, graduated in 2018, and uh, anyway, in film, TV production, learning behind the camera, learning cinematography, editing, the uh, whole nine, and um, you know, everything. Well, not everything, because you don't really know everything. I mean, AI does. Um, maybe, but, um, you know, that, that I, uh, I don't know where I'm getting at there. Anyway, um, so no, that, that's why I got into it. I mean, I really, and then I knew in my head that I, I do want to get into acting and that's where I started my acting journey. And, um, at 26 years old, <clears throat> geez, 26, yeah, yeah, it's been that, yeah, I started, you know, going to, um, Oh, I, I, Central Castings, and uh, shout out to them, Central Castings, yeah. Kristen, and Jimmy, um, Haley, some other, you know, of the, the CDs there, you know, and yeah, I remember them, I don't know, I know them, but um, anyway, yeah, the castings are, you know, you need them, of course, and you know, they're, they're just doing, you know, anyway, I, so I go through that, I'm still doing that actually, and um, but it led me to some opportunities, of course, and I, you know, did some other indie work and actually speaking roles, not just background stuff and um, indie projects, and um, 
So, you know, it's, it is, it's been quite the adventure, I'll say. And, um, and I've had a very near uh, breakthroughs, which, uh, you know, maybe 2024 will set that up for me. But um, on a positive note, I'll kind of end it with this, is that, uh, you know, back, you know, with the whole writer strike and everything, now good. And hopefully we'll just, you know, again, see what, uh, where things go with AI, of course, the whole big topic of d discussion. But um, anyway, I, I got uh, asked back through Central Castings, uh, 911, which uh, I, I am a stand in on there on that show. Um, it's a great show. I mean, I, I'm I kind of knew about them before actually through my roommate, but to actually be like a part of it and working with them, um, yeah, no, it's really, I, I <laughs> you know, I and that's me too. If you got to know, I'm I love physical acting or movements, and, and the I, I mean, I, I thrive on that. I really, I. Uh, yeah so anyway that's what uh, you know the whole um anything with action stuff or um I mean, like secret agents or whatever i just i yeah no it's it's entertaining it's good and um but um anyway we're i'm getting it. oh yeah I'm getting, is that um 911 you know again i'm very grateful for being a stand-in on the show and seeing, again, um, behind the scenes, how they do it all, and the long days, the early mornings, uh, into the nights, the overnights, the, the berating, yelling, torture that we um, get to all embrace. No, uh, we, we don't get tortured, uh, maybe, but uh, um, depends how you look at it. But, uh, um, you know, it's just that, uh, no, it's, it, it's not, it's, it's just work. It's work, but it's, uh, I, passionate work. I, I really enjoy it. Um, and again, I, this really all stems through uh, my sobriety and the success that I've gotten now. And uh, I'm grateful for my sobriety. And I, and I had a relapse. I had my slips. Um, I've been drank now in over three and a half years. Uh, but during, um, I did have a tough breakup and, um, back in August 21 and I, I started smoking weed again I started smoking weed and I got addicted of course. And, uh, and then the writer's strike happened and I fell into that hole. But now I'm, uh, you know, I, November 1st, I started, you know, it's like, right. Think Thanksgiving, yeah, that Thanksgiving, I am thankful for. But um, after Halloween is when I said no more, no mas, and smoking, and yeah, no, it's so I've, so almost two months now, and we're at the end of December, and it's it's great, you know, I'm good to, you know, I'm, I'm I got it now. No, I, you never really got it, but um, you know, it's it's life is getting better. Life is always, you know, there's always brighter things to look forward to. And uh, keep keep good people in your life. Stay positive. Stay focused. And um, that's all. You know, I've learned a lot. Is that I you know, keep the circle small, but those that want you to succeed will will be there for you. And um, those that don't, well, use that as fuel. And uh, you know, it makes you do better. But uh, again, I'll you know. Talk to you guys on the next one and uh i'm gonna again be more narrow with these how you know and have different uh tabs of course into subjects i'd like to talk about actually that all ended with this is that i have some books that i'm currently reading a little bit on so first one is uh bruce lee oh gosh look at that uh bruce lee wisdom for daily living i think there's a lot of uh Really just profound things that, I mean, of course, Bruce Lee being the philosopher that he is. Um, and, you know, of course, his action, you know, we all know him for his, uh, but the, the deep thinker, you know, that, have, again, and his outlook of life, his perspective on a lot of things. And, yeah, no, I really, I have a huge, um, I love him. I mean, I, uh, he has a lot of insightful things, and, and uh, so... You know, another book that I'm looking at right now back is 
Meditations for compulsive people. Well, isn't that just spot on? No, no, I, uh, this is, uh, I, um, again, it just reminds me that, you know, and Father Leo, Father Leo Booth and uh, Long Beach Sobriety, uh, Sunset Beach, and uh, this is a good guy, this is Father Leo. I, and I met him through uh, sobriety, and uh, he, uh, again, he had a lot of wisdom that he shared with me, and uh, he's such a gentle spirit, I'll say that. Very gentle, very um, kind-hearted, and uh, in sobriety, it's good to meet meet people like that, and, um, and that's something that I'm, I'm, I noticed, too, is that if I, even if I try to stray, stray away and think I'm not, I, I am one of them. I will always be one of them, and I can't kid myself that, so. But, um, yeah, again, all sorts of uh, different topics are there, with gambling, co codependence, sexual addictions, drugs, homophobia, food addiction. Uh, that's a big one for a lot of us. Uh, perfectionism, guilt, shame. Oh, yeah, a lot of, I can get back into this one as well. And lastly, this is for, you know, the athletes and the runners, uh, marathon. So Jeff Galloway and marathon. Yeah, running. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a training booklet. It kind of, again, goes in on uh, the training process, different uh, races as well, how to train for a marathon, how, you know, the longevity, the, the, the ins and outs of, of running it. And, uh, yeah. So I think I need, that's another thing. I need to get back to reading or continue the reading. But um, anyway, tune in for the next one. And uh, thank you guys and uh, enjoy your weekend and have a happy new year.